Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Spotlight. My name's the Writing Spartan, and today I'm joined by Vincent. Welcome, Vincent. Hey, thank you very much for having me. I appreciate it big time. No problem at all. It's a pleasure to have you here. Um, so we've got a little Q&A planned. Uh, we played your map, um, which was very cool to play. Uh, it was very exciting to have the first play day on uh, Halo Spotlight as well. Um, so it. Thank you. To give some people a bit of a background about the map, what what is it inspired by? Okay, so this map is inspired by Destiny 1, Destiny the Game. Mm -hmm. um, it's from the Vault of Glass Raid. So it's a recreation of the first section of the raid, which is called Waking Ruins. And uh, in the game, in the raid, you uh, fight Vex enemies for control of uh, sink plates. And mm -hmm. when you hold enough of them, a tower forms. And it opens the, uh, it opens the door to the raid. And so uh, that's, the, uh, that's the whole area of the map that... That's the whole uh, map that's recreated from Destiny. It's Waking Ruins. That's awesome, and that's the that's the name of the map as well, right? Yeah, that's the name of the map in in Destiny. That's the name of the area. That's what I was trying to say before I got a little tongue tied. Oh, sweet. That's cool. That's cool. Um, yeah, no, I I remember the the, the raid well. Um, back in my Destiny one day, so it was cool to play <laughs> yeah. on the map. Um, cool. so obviously Destiny had quite a lot of raids. Out of all the raids in Destiny history, why did you end up choosing the Vault of Glass? particularly for inspiration and what challenges did it bring with recreating it uh well the vault of class the vault of glass is iconic it's it's the first raid from the first game so mm -hmm. you know nobody nobody really knew what to expect and, and there was hype around it and uh ever since it came out you know it's it's totally awesome and it's been beloved by all the destiny players so that's kind of that's kind of why you know it popped into my head as something that i thought would be fun um and by the way, you know, there's there's a lot of overlap between Destiny players and Halo players with Bungie being, you know, the creator of both franchises. So For sure. I definitely felt, yeah, I definitely felt that a lot of people uh, from both games would really enjoy seeing it brought to life in Halo. Mm -hmm. You know, I've seen um, multiplayer maps from Destiny remade in Halo 5, but uh, I never saw the Vault of Glass. I, you know, I know it's Sentai Hyperion. He made a raid um, and uh, there's other things that look like Destiny, but there was never like specifically from that raid so it you know that's kind of a uh, one of the reasons i made it but um yeah it definitely stands out as qu quite a unique concept as well like you said people have made remakes of maps but never never really of of a raid uh from destiny so and there's definitely that overlap i'm a big destiny fan well i i definitely was in the destiny one days anyways um so yeah i can vouch for that there's definitely that overlap there it's, it's a very cool concept for sure yeah and, and um Sorry, there, I was just going to say there's definitely were some challenges with making the map. Um, you know, first of all, when you're forging something from a different game, it's it's impossible to get it like 100% exact and, and yeah. flawless. So, you know, you kind of have to accept that and capture on and focus on capturing, you know, quote unquote, the feel, you know, mm -hmm. which is kind of what I'm proud of. I think that that map has the destiny feel so that, you know, people see it and, uh, you know, they think, oh, this feel this looks and feels like destiny, even though, you know, everything's not totally exactly the way it is in, in the game. Considering you created kind of the the Destiny aesthetic from Halo Forge pieces, you did a really good job at capturing that 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 feeling. So, yeah, it's, it you can definitely tell just by looking at it that it's Destiny themed. So that's that's a good thing to to have going for it for sure. Yeah, yeah, and then the only other challenge would would be the gameplay, mm -hmm. because um you know you got to keep in mind that we're taking I'm taking an area designed for. Uh, PVE, you know, which is short for players versus the environment, you know, the game's artificial intelligences and enemies and stuff like that. Yeah. And we're making it PVP. So we're taking a PVE area, making it PVP. Mm -hmm. There's some balancing, gameplay balancing things you have to consider. So, you know, I had to blow some walls out, like on the ground level to make room for people to spawn and add pathways. And there's teleport gates that the enemies come out of in, in Destiny. And I just made them connect to each other to try to give the map, a, you know, a little bit of flow. Mm -hmm. And so that, that was some of the gameplay challenges was, was making some of that stuff. Well, you definitely made it well, considering, uh, you know, things like movements and stuff are completely different in Destiny. Uh, you're a lot more mobile in Destiny than you are in Halo, I'd say. Um, oh, yeah. So, yeah, no, definitely the, the changes worked well and, and definitely made it, you know, flow well for a halo map considering like you said it's based on a pve area so obviously yeah, that go on sorry no that's it i was just gonna uh, i don't even know what i was gonna say you go on <laughs> so i was just gonna um kind of move on to the next point um which was obviously it got quite a positive reception um it it did really well on reddit and you know you had three for three industries members like jerry hook retweeting it and, and, and talking about it 
So has has that pushed you at all to to make any more kind of Destiny inspired remakes or raid inspired remakes? Oh yeah, I mean that was super cool. You know, seeing the positivity and recognition from all sorts of people. Like Twitter had hundreds of likes and stuff. Reddit mm-hmm. had over two thousand. And then, like you said, guys like Jerry Hook and three four three employees were like retweeting it, and, and so that was really cool. You know, I was like, oh wow, the people are liking this. So um, I, I already have made different Destiny themed stuff. There's another map called Time Sieve that I have on my content browser mm-hmm. that's kind of Vex themed and. I'm working on something right now that's sort of hive themed and that that might be out in the near future. So we can expect to awaken the hive very soon then. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so obviously with those maps and and the ones you've got planned coming up, um you can find them on your your browser and whatnot, but is there any other places like Forge Hub or, or places they can they could find those maps yeah. if they wanted to play them? Absolutely, yeah. You can check out my Halo 5 content browser by searching my gamer tag, which is Danger Tanner. Mm-hmm. And um, you can also go to the Halo... You can do that in-game, or you can go to the Halo uh, Waypoint website and do it there. But I do recommend uh, going to Forge Hub and, and checking it out there. I have a profile there under Danger Tanner. Mm-hmm. And there's lots of other cool content. There's lots of creators, lots of maps. There's, there's a lot going on at Forge Hub. So if your listeners aren't joined, they should definitely go check it out. Yeah, Forge Hub is a really good place to uh, to find a lot of unique maps a lot of cool maps and a lot of good creators as well so i definitely you know recommend going and setting up an account over there as well so yeah uh, i'll pop all the links for for those uh places you've mentioned down in the description below or if you if you're reading the, the piece on halo spotlight.com it'll it'll be in there as well so it should be nice and easy for people to find your content hopefully awesome. um but yeah, that I mean, that just about covers everything that I, I had to ask, just a nice short one. So thanks very much for uh, popping along and answering those questions. Yeah, for sure. I appreciate uh, I appreciate this, the spotlight, and uh, I'm glad to be part of this. Thanks for everything you're doing for the uh, Halo community. No problem, no problem. It's uh, a very small step, but there's going to be a, a lot more features in the future. This year is going to be a good one for Halo Spotlight, so... Uh, if you're listening to this and you, you haven't checked out the website, be sure to check out halospotlight.com. Uh, we've also got a Twitter account where we post updates. So that's halos, that's H-A-L-O-S underscore spotlight. Um, yeah, thanks for everyone for listening and I will see you all in the next spotlight.